Yo, what's going on everybody? So today we're going to take a look at some ways that you can spice up your snares so that they're not sounding so generic. Hey. So if you're ready for this one, let's jump right in. Okay guys, so I got a little beat going right here and I got a snare, but it's sounding super plain, super generic. So we're going to look at how we can spice it up, but this is what we're starting with right now. So the first thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to find this sample in the browser right here and I kind of want to make it a little tighter. So what I did is I went and I made an audio track right here and I'm going to switch over and I'm going to solo just this audio track so we can kind of play around with this snare a little bit. So I'm going to put this snare out here on the grid. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to start playing with this bad boy. All right, so first thing I want to do is kind of tighten it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp this right here and I'm going to play with this BPM just to make it a little bit smaller. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go in here and put Complex Pro on and then you can turn down the envelopes all the way and then we'll start playing with this BPM to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually freeze this track right here and then I'm going to flatten it to make it basically a new sound. I might shorten it up a little bit just to get rid of that tail. And then I'm going to click on this MIDI here that I already have set. And I'm going to go ahead and drag the sample in. Okay, so now you can see we got the sample loaded in. It's a lot smaller than it was originally. And it's going to sound a little bit tighter now. So I'm going to turn off this audio here and we can listen to the beat now. And you can go in here and kind of turn up the gain. You might lose a little bit of the gain since we made it smaller. It's not taking up as much room. But you can see that has a lot more bite to it now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the stock audio Ableton effects and I'm going to go ahead and find a corpus. The cool thing about a corpus is it basically bounces your sound off a plate or a beam or whatever you pick here and it kind of gives it some harmony to it, some harmonics to it. And you can play with the tune right here and you can change what octave it's in. So if you look down here, it's right now it's in a C3. All right, so it's going to play a bell like that sound. So you could go up or down octaves and you could find a, a ring that sounds good to you. So I usually like to go up some octaves. So let's play with this. Maybe we'll go up another octave here. And then you could play with the different things in here until you get a sound that you like. But I personally like the beam. I think it sounds the best for snares in general. So now we can go ahead and start playing with some of these settings here. So right off rip, I like to turn the material up right away and that's going to kind of lessen the sound and add more of the kind of slap to it. Next, I'm going to turn this bleed up all the way and basically what this is saying is that it's going to let the actual sound peek through it as well. It's going to bleed through along with that. So now we got this. So now you can hear the snare with it. And then obviously you got your decay settings here that we're going to turn down, but let's play with the brightness and in harmonics a little bit, just so you can see what it does. So if you turn the brightness up, it's obviously going to sound a little brighter, more tinny. If we turn it down, it sounds a little more dull. I actually think that sounds pretty good, so let's leave it there. Now let's play with the in harmonics a little bit. That almost that makes it sound almost more pipey if you turn it all the way up. Let's turn it all the way down. That makes it resonate even longer. So maybe we'll turn this up a little bit to give it more of that pipey sound. Awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and play with the decay settings. And what you'll notice is I usually turn the decay down quite a bit because a little bit actually makes the biggest difference. So we can turn that down to like 400 milliseconds and you just barely hear it. It gives it a little clip at the beginning, just a little bit of that bell at the beginning of the sample. And I'm actually going to turn the brightness up instead of down like we had it before because I think it sounds a little better like that. All right, now you can play with the dry wet and kind of dial it in so that you have just a little bit or you can put even more of it.
and then you can play with the materials again and kind of get it just right how you like it. The, the more you bring it back, the more of the sound you'll actually hear. All right, so another thing you can do is you could turn the dry wet all the way up and maybe we'll even turn the gain up a little bit too because you can barely hear that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually click Command G. If you're on Windows, you can press Control G. And then we're gonna open this up right here and we're gonna create another chain. This one's gonna be the dry chain. And this is gonna be the wet one that we have the corpus on. And what we can do is we can actually dial it in to get it perfect. All right, if you wanted to give it a little more attack, you could also put on this drum bus here and you could play with these little distortion settings to kind of make it sound a little bit more full. But you gotta be careful because uh, it can wreck it pretty quickly here. So let's turn this down. Maybe turn to the decay down a little bit. And then you can play with the transients here to get an even different effect. All right, so I like that a lot. That's actually smacking right in your face. So I think that sounds pretty darn good. So this is before it. And this is after. So big difference there. So now let's mix it into our mix again. All right guys, so that was a couple ways to kind of tighten up your snare sounds, make them sound more aggressive, and add some little tones to it to make it a whole new sound. So I hope you're gonna take these and use them in your mix as well so that you're not having that standard ass snare sound. Because you deserve to spice it up and you deserve to have better beats than the competition. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the fearless gang. And I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.